Welcome to Frankfurt. Unfortunately, the weather is not so nice, but today we're going to drive for the first time the new Fiat Tipo as the estate. On top of this, there is a new system on board, which is called a double clutch transmission. Looking at the front of the Tipo, the first thing that catches your eyes is the grill with these chrome elements here. And I think this really upgrades the look of the car. On top of this, I think the implementation of the hood is very nicely made. Very important, the headlights, they come as standard with LED day running lights from trim level, easy onwards. Looking at the side of the car, very important here is with the top trim level called lounge, Fiat offers 16 inch alloys as standard. Going further down here, you see the roof line of the car drops slightly to the rear with the estate, and I think this really gives the car extra dynamic. Very important, these roof rails, they come as standard with the estate. Now we have a look at the rear. A very important element for the whole look of the car is for sure this line here that runs across the whole side into the taillights. I think they are very nicely shaped and they go very deep into the car. And important for the dynamic look of the rear is for sure this spoiler. Different to the 5-door with 440 litres or the sedan with 520 litres of maximum capacity in the boot with uprights rear seat, the Estate offers 550 litres, but if you fold down these seats, the Estate really can pay off with 1,650 litres of maximum capacity. For the new Tipo, Fiat offers three petrol and two diesel engines, and they have between 95 up to 120 horsepower. Gear changing is either with a five or six-speed manual gearbox or with a new six-speed DCT, but that is only available with a big diesel engine. comes with three different trim levels which are pop easy and lounge but to be really honest pop is already very nicely equipped for instance you will already have a climber control in there if you go a bit up to easy you will have for instance a five inch touchscreen infotainment system on board but if you take lounge which is the top one you will also have a cruise control a climber system and a seven inch infotainment system i think more is not needed The Tipo offers for its segment loads of space. As you see me, I'm nearly two meters tall. I'm sitting perfectly in the car. I can adjust everything the way I want it. And even behind me, you can sit easily and comfortably even for longer distances. Uh, regarding to the quality of the car, I have to say, yes, of course, we do find some plastic here and there, but I think very important here with this car is value for money. And it offers loads of extras for very small numbers. Regarding to the drive, the car drives very smooth and easy. Um, we do have the two liter diesel engine on board combined with the six speed automatic. They work very nicely together. I think the automatic could shift up a bit earlier from time to time, but the rest is absolutely fine. Yes, it's not a sports car, but it's a really nice family car. The new Fiat Tipo is really a good sized family car or a car for any activity you can think about. The car starts at about 14,000 euros here in Germany as the sedan with a small petrol engine. But if you see this car as we drove it, so the big estate with the big diesel engine and the automatic gearbox, that one cost fully equipped about 23,000 euros. And that's what the Fiat Tipo really is. Good value for money. 